Hi everyone. Today we present you with our weekly insight on data extraction in AutoCAD, which is one of the newly added features available on CAD 24. Capricot Technologies is now an Arkans group serving widely in adoption of computer-aided designs and its integrated workflows and technologies. Myself, Anurag Pamnani, the Solution Specialist for Architecture at Capricot Technologies. In this insight, we will be covering, firstly, understanding newly added data extraction tool and how is it useful. Secondly, we will be looking on to the information to be taken out from the elements in the drawings. So here I am at my software user interface where you can see we do have a single line, double line and uh, we do have our ground floor plan which is very simple which is of a residential unit and we can see under this we do have certain blocks which have been arranged in the form of doors and we have to fetch out a data with respect to this drawing. So we can have a ground floor plan, first floor plan, second floor plan, and so on. So how to fetch out the data in an easier format. So under the previous version, we were not having this tool, but in this latest version that is 2024, we do have an option of having a data extraction, which is known as a metadata form. Right, so what we can do is we can go on to annotate and uh, here we have this option of extracting a data and linking a data. So we have an already a file which is not linked with any other file, but we have a simple drawing over here and we have to fetch out the information from it. So what we are going to do is we are going to click at extract data. So while doing this, a uh, wizard appears on the screen and it says whether you need to create a new data extraction or you need to use a previous template data extraction, which is in a form of DXE, .DXE, which is data extraction format, or you have to add it an existing data extraction. So right now we are only going to create a new data. So creating a new data, going on to a next option. And over here, suppose whatsoever is my project name I'm giving to it. It's an residential. It's a residential unit. Which is known as say. <clears throat> Maya Heights. Okay, so this we have saved in a certain location and now the part is this has already taken its format where it is located i just need a particular element to be selected in this part so because i'm going to have a door extraction so clicking on select option objects in a drawing picking up this tool and just going on to select a door type say enter okay we have selected a tool we have to proceed next now we know that the door type is door d1 which is this door 01 and this is the block name and over here i have number of objects that are appearing to me as in polyline door circle attribute definition and arc so i don't need this arc i will uncheck it I don't need a circle, no polyline. I just need the attribute definitions of a particular block that is door 01. I will go on and check on the next button. Over here, we have the category to be filtered. These are number of things that can appear in a particular format with respect to a single block. So here we have to uncheck or filter the options that are not needed in this case so i need a particular attribute option which is particularly my door type and what door size lintel and other attributes which are associated with my door so i will uncheck the 3d visualization option check on the attribute options over the drawings you have what sort of line what sort of line type by layer which is the thickness to it 
I don't need that as well. I will uncheck the drawing. In general, it contains certain hyperlinks, layer, line type, line scale. I don't need all those informations. Geometry. In terms of X, Y, and Z coordinates, I don't need anything. MISC, I don't need. Text also, I don't need. So, only what I need is the door attribute to it of a particular door type. So, this is a door type 1. Its height is given. Its lintel will be mentioned. What sort of material it contains. Whether it's a single swing or double swing. And what will be its width. So, checking on the next option. And you can see. It gives me a single count of a door, 0, 1, whereas which is associated with seven of its attributes, that is door type, height, lintel, material, and so on. So over here, we, if you just uncheck this, you can see the number of attributes it contain and only a single door type. Over here, it shows the count of a column. And over here, it shows the name that needs to be checked on while doing it. So next, and I want the table to be inserted onto my drawing. I will finish the options and this whatsoever is the title style header you need. You can also put on those things. Well, now I will do just finish and uh, over here, you can see my data ext has been extracted, but it appears to me in quite a small format. So I will just scale it, S C enter, uh, suppose 20. So here it is, S C enter, more than 10 times of it, S C enter, select the base point, 10, enter. So here it is. Moving it and checking it. So this is the count number one where we have the door zero one as a name of a block, which is a type of D1 type and which is flush door height 2100, lintel height is 2100, wood material single and width is 1500. So we can also, whenever we will make these certain changes onto the block, we can update this table by clicking on it, just clicking on it and uh, right clicking on it. For a minute, it takes a certain time. And over here, you can go on to right click and just say update the data table links so it will automatically fetch down the data whenever you will change it on the block it will take that and will update it soon yeah so this is how we generally insert our table blocks and uh, over here one more thing to notice is it has in seven attributes but it doesn't took a count on it right so this type of information also sometimes becomes very essential together when a project is long or even a smaller project and you need to count on number of doors that are present on the particular floor plan. So it becomes quite essential for us to gain that data as well. So we will be looking into some other prospects of it at the same time in our next video. And uh, we'll be looking at some better things like how we can add certain counts having a similar sort of type yeah hope you guys had an insightful session we shall be presenting with other insights on upcoming videos do subscribe to our youtube channel for all the updates we would be delighted to hear from you do reach out to us for any suggestions or query see you in the next week thanks and take care